Cryptogenic stroke is defined as brain infarction that is not attributable to a source of definite cardioembolism, large artery atherosclerosis, or small artery disease despite a thorough vascular, cardiac, and serologic evaluation. Embolic stroke of undetermined source, ESUS, is defined as a non lacunar brain infarct without proximal arterial stenosis or cardioembolic sources. SS represents a subset of cryptogenic stroke. Cryptogenic stroke accounts for 25 to 40 percent of ischemic stroke. Cryptogenic stroke presents with superficial hemispheric infarction in the majority of patients, and a significant proportion of cryptogenic strokes adhere to embolic infarct topography on brain imaging. Cryptogenic stroke is a diagnosis of exclusion. The diagnosis is made when a standard evaluation reveals no definite evidence of cardioembolism, large artery atherosclerosis, small artery disease, or other determined etiology, and no evidence of atrial fibrillation on a 12-lead electrocardiogram ECG, and on 24-hour cardiac monitoring. The acute management of cryptogenic stroke is similar to that of other ischemic stroke subtypes. For secondary prevention, most patients with an ischemic stroke or TIA should be treated with blood pressure reduction, antithrombotic therapy, statin therapy, and lifestyle modification. However, the optimal antithrombotic therapy of patients with cryptogenic stroke who have atrial septal aneurysm, atheromatous aortic disease, or coagulation of disorders is uncertain. For patients with a first cryptogenic stroke, we recommend antiplatelet therapy rather than anticoagulant therapy while awaiting the results of long-term cardiac monitoring, grade 1b. For patients initially diagnosed with cryptogenic stroke who have atrial fibrillation of any duration detected on long-term monitoring, even if detected remotely from the incident stroke, we suggest anticoagulant therapy with warfarin or a direct oral anticoagulant, DOAC, rather than antiplatelet therapy grade 2C.